Counting in countdown. Okay, great. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Hi, everybody. I'm Holly Lotus from and, Shameless Explorations. And I'm Jillian Windsor from The Ascendant Woman. And we're back with you again. Um, we had some hiccups the last couple of weeks because of weather. And so we just decided to come on today and and show our faces and see where everybody's at and see if there's anything we can support with um, yeah. and see what the cards say today. Yeah. Fantastic. Welcome, welcome. And lovely to be here with you too, Holly. I'm excited. Yes. Oh, yeah. I just noticed, look, oh, we, 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 we had the same memo or something with our tops, yep. like the same color. <laughs> we got a curly hair. And we got the tops. curly hair going on. <laughs> We are, we are in alignment. <laughs> oh, it's all about us. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's so, us. so how, how are you? You've had some really terrible weather. Oh, that um, was awful. It was awful, awful. We thought it was going to be maybe for a day and then mm -hmm. it kept going and going. Just not just the weather, but the power outage. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it was, it was. It was cold. Oh. We, we were in, in our apartment, and it holds the heat pretty well. And it was about 48 degrees, oh. in, <laughs> about 46 in the bedroom. <laughs> so we had all our Kilimanjaro gear on. <laughs> wow. Well, good and had had loads of candles to kind of <laughs> warm ourselves by. But um, we didn't say again. I said, that's nice. You had those, that equipment that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it was really, it was really good. Mm -hmm. And but it was, it was afterwards, like last week, and everybody I've spoken to in, in Austin, it was, it was last week was this sort of heaviness. We were all feeling this heaviness and this dullness. And it was, it was the, the emotional strain and knowing mm. that people had died and just, just the whole collective, mm. you know, we, we get impacted by our own um, circumstances, but then when it's a collective thing, we get impacted by that on a psychological and emotional level too. And so that's what was, that was what was going on. I feel like I've kind of come out yeah <laughs> today it feels like yeah i'm ready yay so actually that collective energy has been um making itself apparent for a long time i mean yeah. really since yeah. the covid started because COVID it's yeah because it's a collective thing we're yeah. all going through it we're all in yeah. our own way and and having our own experience with it but it's it's really like this collective change that's yeah. happening for everybody that yeah. we all have to learn to live in. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it's so true, Holly. We don't realize the impact of that. We don't realize that all these things that are going on, not just in our country, there's a lot, mm -hmm. but also in, in the world. And it does it, and it compounds everything. And I think mm -hmm. that's what happened, what people were feeling last week. And it's not just us and the, the other um, states that have been going through this too but yeah. um, that that whole it was sort of it was a bit of the straw that broke the camel's back really you know yeah but I think now yesterday there was a lot more energy people were out and they were just like running around the place like yeah <laughs> so oh good <laughs> <laughs> so that's exciting uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> the hell with everything. We're out. <laughs> That's right. Well, that happened. That happens a lot. Like we feel really suppressed and caged in, and mm -hmm. then we just gotta get out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Great. So we were actually just talking about you know the storms that come, and mm -hmm. how different it feels when the storms just come up, and you have to deal right now when you had no time to prepare no warning um and this can be anything for me yeah. it came with a health issue yeah. um it just came this morning like in a morning it showed up and i was in the hospital and then i was down for five months 
Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, now there's like a calm before the storm that I know is coming. And in the calm, I'm creating my space to deal with the storm mm -hmm. so that when it comes, it it maybe won't be such a um, a trauma. It won't be so hard to deal with because I've had time to prepare my yeah. space and my yeah. mind. Yeah. Um, and so, um, yeah, there's just a difference in like a huge difference in energy between yes. when a storm comes and when you have time to prepare for it. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And when we were speaking earlier, I just got the sense of you nesting. Mm -hmm. You know, you're really sort of gathering and gathering your own energies with everything that you're making sure is in place. But it, mm -hmm. yeah, so you've got this container for yourself. Yeah. And so Very in wise. the preparation, thank you, thank you. So actually what's going on with me now is I had an injury, I was down for five months, and now I've chosen to have a surgery. Even though I'm mm -hmm. feeling so much better, um, there's a surgery that can make it even better. So I'm actually just choosing to have that. And um, the storm is coming. Like I'm having a surgery. I'm going to have to be down. I'm going to have to heal and recover yeah. i'm gonna yeah. not be available to my family in the same way yeah. that i normally yeah. am so things are going to change but in this moment i have time to prepare everything and my own mind and energy for it yeah. um and so that's kind of what we're referring to and if if austin had had or texas in general had had right. some big some warning to prepare maybe it wouldn't have been such a thing so yes, um, yes. that's just kind of that collective energy that yes. i can sense that's up Yes. And, you know, knowing that, like, even with COVID now, if if you have to quarantine, it's not a shock. You now have had enough time to understand, like, OK, I'm going to need to quarantine because this. And so now yes. I know what to do to prepare for it or how to handle yes. the quarantine. And so, yes. um, yeah, that's a collective energy that I can feel yes. being up yes. is the difference between the knowing and the not knowing. Yes. And, yes. and for being able to prepare properly. Yeah. Um, and so that brings me to how, how do we prepare for the unknown, mm -hmm. but without becoming so restricted and fearful? Like, how do we, how do we stay in, in that, what I call sort of like the ascendant place? <laughs> and it takes practice. It's like practice mm -hmm. when things aren't awful. But just to kind of be open and to still be soft, vulnerable, that feminine power, you mm -hmm. know, because we can all get, ah, oh, and we've been well trained in being, um, using like forceful energy to get through things. Mm -hmm. But that isn't working anymore. That just isn't. And so, so it's interesting that you bring up the, the feminine power and the mask like when in my head I'm like I went back to my military training yes. and I'm like um well you just be proactive think yeah. about the things that could happen and yeah. kind of have yeah. a plan prepared but not totally it's like yes. I'm living my life I know how to like there's a situation that could come and here's some options that I could have but yes. not live in the fear of it. Just be yes. proactive and planning yes. your life yes. like be proactive with your life and living yes and and I'm hearing both feminine mm -hmm. and masculine because you're not coming from fear. And that's in one of our conversations. What was the shift for you? You've mm -hmm. you've opened the, the situation. You've opened up to the situation that's even that you're even going in the surgery. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's mm -hmm. that's you facing the unknown, well prepared and focused and directional and at the same time your heart is open mm -hmm. you know you're you're open to and you, you you know talking to you with it about it just how i notice the energy just moving through you mm -hmm. you know there's just this flow and uh, yeah and, that open heart it, it that's what is the yeah. ascendant woman piece yes yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and it's it's not a one and done mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a it's an ongoing um choice point 
but we have to know what it feels like. We have to know that it's okay. We're not, we're not used to being okay with it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's, yeah. Feminine leadership from there is very different. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's something I had to learn. I didn't have a feminine leadership when I was in the military. <laughs> right. Right. There wasn't, yeah. There wasn't actually a space for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was um, I was it, listening. It feels very different. Yes, it is. It is. I was listening to a, an interview with Queen Latifah because she's got she's the equalizer. <laughs> she's on a TV show called The Equalizer. The interview was really fascinating because she grew up with, um, I think her dad was like a seal or something. I don't know. He mm. was he was hardcore and she was hardcore. But her mom showed her how to be a queen. Mm. She said, otherwise, she'd just be all knuckles. <laughs> 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 and she loves, you know, she loves being being hardcore. And at the same time, her mom gave her a queenness. And you can see it, you know. She's, yeah. She dances beautifully between those two energies, the masculine and the feminine. And she leads from a feminine, but she knows how to, like, bring on the military. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think and that those important. are gifts. Both, both. Yes. There's... I think it's important. Mm -hmm. I really do. I think there's a lot of women, a lot of us out there that need to know how to bring on the military to use, you know, to dance with your, um, your background. But it's mm -hmm. true. We need, I call it the heart and the sword. We need both. If we're too, too swirly, mm -hmm. then that ain't any good. And if we're yeah. too, like, ah. Uh, and we can become real bitches and cows, right? Sorry, yep. folks, but and <laughs> and that's sort of like the energy squirting out in not such a clear way, in unprepared ways. But if we know how to balance the heart and the sword, ooh, that's yes. that's got that's some... the juicy space. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah. So that's a lot of energies that are up and playing full right now. Yeah. So. Do you want to true. see what the cards have to say about, like, the energy of preparing, um, being in flow, masculine and feminine, and yes. the bad flow? Yes. Thanks. Let's go. Let's do it. See what shows up. Great. Are you, are you doing your card deck the same way? <laughs> you um, just pop. <laughs> just going to grab one out. I shuffled it before we got on. I'm just going to grab one out and see what happens. Here's how um, I, this is what this is how I play with it. Yeah. And everybody watching, actually, I don't really play with cards until Jillian sent me hers, and I just kind of like grab one out, and that's that. <laughs> well, I'll grab it because I grabbed it, but <laughs> I already grabbed a different one. Also, <laughs> I wonder if they're similar. Oh. <laughs> wow, this is interesting. What if? What have you got? What have you got? <laughs> okay. So what I've got is today, dear one, let me start with your signature, dear one. <laughs> <laughs> today you are creating your life from unquestionable belief, questioned beliefs. You'll know by how alive and fulfilled you feel. If you're not feeling mm. good, it's time to recreate your approach. Create beliefs that express your values and align your actions towards well-being. Oh, and remember, don't believe everything you think. <laughs> That's funny because I just said before we went live, like, I'm like sometimes I'm having these fearful thoughts, and I'm, but it's just not actually fear. What <laughs> they just good. pop in sometimes. They do, yeah, they do. And yeah. You just have to question. Okay, is that thought actually serving me? <laughs> mm. Yes, please mm -hmm. question. Oh, yes. Well, it kind of ties into like that place of juiciness that we were talking about, and and you have to go into the place of not believing everything you think, especially <laughs> if it's like going to grab you and suck your energy out. Then, mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. dear one, 
here's a way for you to plug into happiness super fast. Bring your senses alive. They're your antenna for interpreting the world of vibration around you. Touch fabrics and flowers. I've got my daffodils here. <laughs> Touch fabrics and flowers. Smell and slowly taste your food. Listen to the sounds that please you. Notice the blends of color that attract you. Pay attention to what your gut and body are signaling. When it comes to determining your path to happiness, if you aren't following your own sensory rhythms, whose are you following? Hmm. Senses on. <laughs> it was like that when it was really in the, in the depths of the super cold. There was mm -hmm. like that choice point. Do we, do we freak out? Craig, my husband and I, do, do we totally freak out? <clears throat> and go into that desperation place? Or how do we bring our senses alive? So, so candles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, um, and just really being able to taste our food, however that was. And just really relishing things. Otherwise, it is down to us. There's nobody out there that's going to do it. We are, we are the ones. Mm -hmm. And I see that with you, Holly, with the way that you're participating and engaging in your life in preparation for this surgery. You know, you're staying open, you're staying connected to what is heart and meaning to you. And I know that your senses are always on. Yeah. And they're <laughs> always yours. You, you, you follow yours beautifully. And then there's the little jibber yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, follow yeah. the senses, even when the preparation means I'm going to get an oil change and get the car washed. And yeah. <laughs> you know, what, yeah. What, what senses can you bring on board with that? And like, what's yeah. alive? Because yeah. preparing can be like, I have to do this list of things. You're and so right on. Also, how can I have some enjoyment in it? Yeah. Like bring pleasure in it and not like, yes. oh my goodness, all this stuff has to get done before my surgery. Uh, I could go there. We could yeah. all go there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. a lot of people go there like, oh my gosh, there's so much. It's overwhelm happens. But yes. if you just take a step back yes. and breathe into it and like yeah. feel your environment and like, how much time do I actually have? What would bring some pleasure and joy to this? Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Bringing in that's, those senses. That's it. That's great. Yes. Yes. Because happiness is, is, is down to us. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an inner game, not an outer game. Yeah. So. And it is absolutely yeah. that choice in that moment. You know, how, how do I want to interact in this situation? Because yeah. we all have the things show up. Yeah. That are <laughs> fucked up and hard. <laughs> we have them. In a word, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, I agree. you know, okay, how do I want to interact? It, do, does I, do I like the drama? Okay, fine, I'm going to go in that space. And it's just the choice. Or if it you is. don't want the drama, it's the choice of like, okay, how can I make this fun? Yeah. You know, yeah. like that saying, make lemonades. <laughs> or make lemonade yeah. if the if life gives you lemons make lemonade yeah it's not just like ignore the hard shit it's like oh no 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 acknowledge no, no. oh this is this is messed up okay so what can i do yeah. to feel a little better with it <laughs> yeah it's so right on absolutely it was a conversation with one of my clients last week um and there's this constant overwhelm and so what we're working on is breathing. It's when in doubt, breathe. <laughs> when in doubt, breathe. Because we usually end up gasping. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but so it is. It's about finding the joy. It is about finding those little moments of joy. Bring in flowers. Eat chocolate really slowly. <laughs> Take a nap. Take I mean. a nap. <laughs> 
take a nap. Yes. Go to Ross and get one of those $10 cozy blankies. Take a nap with that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yes. So find these different ways because that opens up. It opens us up to possibility, potential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, and what you focus on, of course, grows. So when you're focusing in yeah. the overwhelm, that's going to yeah. perpetuate the overwhelm and make it bigger. And if you can bring in the little pieces, then more little things that are possible show up in that yep. space too. Yep. So, yeah. It's Great. beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. Is there anything else that the cards have to say? Oh, well, look. Or I just would like I just us did a... to ponder... I just did a pickup and it's mm -hmm. dear one feeling overwhelmed, stuck or uninspired today. <laughs> so it's still in the same thread. And this is just mm -hmm. random time to immerse yourself in the beauty of nature. Mm -hmm. Go outside and let mother earth whisper to your heart, mind and soul. Slow down, breathe in the sight, sounds and smells. Do it until your head clears and your heart begins to sing again. You are so cherished and loved. Mm -hmm. So it follows on from everything that we've been saying. Yeah, beautiful. I think that's, yeah. Thank you. So um, is there an invitation with these cards and this energy that you'd like to invite people to play with? Mm. Yeah, really um, allow yourself to explore some of these ideas of um, slowing down, breathing, mm -hmm. getting in touch with your senses, getting in touch and not to believe everything you think. Really question your own thought process. And if that thought is taking you on a descending experience, then find a thought, find something, go out in nature, whatever it is that will help you unplug from the descent into the ascendant place. Mm. That's what I want to invite people to do. And, you know, Holly and I are here. If you want to make comments in the, in the Facebook page, then please do. We will interact. We will engage. We're here. We're dancing. We're playing. Except Holly won't be here, but I will be. <laughs> but we will send you lots of vibes. And maybe you will be on here, Holly, in between times. Yeah, so. thank you. Um, so with that, we'll miss this Thursday. Um, we'll be on again yeah. when, when the flow is right. And yeah. because I think that that's the piece that was, that was we were setting it instead of being yeah. in the flow with it. So now yeah. we're going to play even more, yeah. which is flowing. <laughs> flow, flow, flow. <laughs> <laughs> so great. We will see you all next time. And if anything in this video speaks to you, just please mention it in the comments and we'd be happy yeah. to, to talk with you about it. Yeah. Um, and of course, next time, if there's something that you would like us to just chat about, and oh, um, please. then yeah. please let us know um, yeah. what energy you'd like to bring up for the cards to get pulled. Or if you have yes. a situation of your own that you just want to be pulled for you, um, yeah. we'd be happy if, to play with that. And if you have a card deck already and you pull mm -hmm. a card and you'd like to have more information on that, then bring that to our cause too. Um, and if you'd like a card deck, then... Leave a message and we'll get you set up with that too. So Beautiful. come in, come play. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about if you put the link, is the link to your card deck in the group? Um, I think it is, but I'll double oh. check. I can, I can add it to the You can just put it post. in the comments under this yeah, video if you'd like. I will. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. Well, thank you all for joining us whenever you're seeing this. And yeah. we will see you next time. Yeah, much love to you all out there and uh, happy exploring your senses and mm. uh, taking charge of your own thoughts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Holly. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Okay. I s there it is.